going down in this bitch. Hey, hey. Back on the reaction video, man. Today we we'll react to the top five most disrespectful defendants in court. Now, one thing I do know, nigga, you don't be disrespectful to these judges. You feel me, like, nigga, you gotta have them to you know get out there. You feel me? So we're gonna go ahead and react to this. This better be funny too. Hold on. Yeah. Full screen. Bad. This is the arraignment of 20-year-old Spencer Allen Boston. At a traffic stop two months earlier, Boston. A nigga ugly as hell. Speeding and possession of marijuana. That's tough. Received sight. If you got weed on you, why, why would you go out and speed, bro? Patients for speeding and simple possession of marijuana. Yes, sir. I think it's very unfair, the marijuana law here. Um, I think we the people deserve better because marijuana is a very harmless drug and it's been around for ages since the 80s and 90s. That don't matter, nigga. You are in a non-recreational state, nigga. I've heard that the lonely all my life, so don't go any further on that. Yes, sir. I don't know whether it's good or bad. All I know is yes, that the still has it against the law. I screwed up all the laws, and I have to uphold the laws. As a judge, it probably is unfair, but I can't change it if you got to go see the legislature to get that change. You want to face trial, then? Uh, yeah, we can do that. I'd be fine, then you, then you make another speech. As the judge works with court employees to schedule a trial date, Boston decides to take action. As he pulls out what appears to be a joint. No one seems to notice until... That was very unfucking necessary. That, that was the almost unnecessary charge you could have ever got right there, bro. Yeah. Shockingly, yeah. Yeah. he lights up. Yeah. 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 And this time it's noticed immediately. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. We the people deserve better. Boston may have finally pleaded his case. That was the most unnecessary hey, hey, hey. shit ever. We the people deserve better. But he's immediately taken away by the court officer. And Judge Barry gets the final word. Jail. Slapping boss. You did not have to go to jail that day. <laughs> you did not have to go to jail that day, bro. You just didn't, bro. You didn't have to go to jail that day. With bro. a disorderly conduct charge, as well as another charge of possession. The judge also holds him in contempt of court and Boston. And if you want to smoke, and you're not in a recreational state, stay in your house, bro. Stay in your house, nigga. And plus, who wants to be high outside? Nigga? Like, I don't know. I just get paranoid around people. Like, I don't like being around people when I'm high. You feel me? So, why? Why? It's just. Okay. Is forced to spend ten days in jail. This Not is seventeen-year-old Dante Wright. Writes in court today to receive his sentence for the shooting death of high school student Jordan Klee. He's pled guilty to armed robbery, conspiracy to commit armed robbery, a felony firearm violation, and second degree ugly. murder. As part of the sentencing, a family member makes a victim impact statement on behalf of the victim's mother, who's too overcome with emotion to speak. I sincerely hope that whatever it was you wanted so badly that you felt the need to murder my son was worth the next at least 52 years of your continued existence. You won't get the luxury of raising your child because you took mine away. Wright's demeanor so during this statement is not what you might honey. expect. Your actions. He killed your son. Do you expect him to give a fuck about you? <laughs> I mean. This have led you to a prison cell, but have also created an empty cell that I live in every day. While you can still hope to be released one day, I'll never escape <clears throat> my help. You are still alive, but Jordan has no future. Thank you, Your Honor. We're done. I just want to tell y'all, I'll be home soon. I'll be Keon. I love my family. That's all you got to say. 
You know, I have um, never in 20... Whoa, whoa, why you doing this talking, Judge? Hey, that's all he had to say. Ran the gal, wow, 20 years. Oh, excuse me. I do something. You feel me? Like, you ain't have to escalate the situation, Judge. Yo. Three years of approximately ever not accepted a sentence agreement between the parties because it's a bargain for sentence by the parties. But watching you sit there, smile and laugh and shake your head like this was no big deal, I'm very tempted to just say, I'm not going to accept this sentence agreement. We'll go to trial. And if you're convicted of felony murder, you'll go to prison for the rest of your life. That means you'll die there. That's what I'm tempted to do. The judge does have the authority to reject the plea deal. Mr. Bella, do you want me to accept the sentence agreement? Your Honor, before I answer the court's question, I would like an opportunity to just... Oh, now he's looking worried. Hey, nigga, I pay you, nigga. What's up? <laughs> that nigga looking worried, nigga. Discuss it with the victim's family. I have had a very lengthy discussion uh, with the victim's mother as well as his grandparents and some family members. Uh, they understand that obviously this this is the defendant you know, who brutally uh, murdered their son by shooting him in the back of the head. He's shown absolutely no remorse. However, the Klee family um, does want to move on with this, and they are asking, as well as the people, uh, that you proceed with the sentence. Okay. The judge accepts the sentencing agreement. Ooh, 25. Ooh, 25. 52. Yeah, man. Couldn't be me, man. I'm talking about I'm out there fighting him up. I'm out there fighting. I'm talking about I got a scrap with his moms. I got a scrap with uh with with the judge, the DA, the my ooh. Boy, I don't want your lawyer. Hell no. But you shouldn't have killed that man. You shouldn't have killed that dude. Any less, you shouldn't have killed him. Which puts him behind bars for 25 to 52 years. Communications for Hearst. Yeah, I want to report a crime that's about to happen. What do you mean a crime that's about to happen? Yeah, there's about to be a crime that's going to happen if my kids don't come back to me, you stupid bitch, because you're stupid. Judges don't want to bring people to courtrooms. I got a gun pointed at your building. Sir, what is going on? Who the you calling, sir, you stupid bitch? Where's your judge warrant at? You going to bring that bitch out in handcuffs, and I'm going to execute that son of a bitch right in the street. I'm letting you know I'm going to shoot this bitch. You done? Give me my kids. Where are you at, sir? I just told you I'm outside of her building waiting for her to get there in the morning. I'm gonna pop a gap in that bitch. You stupid. Damn! What, 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 yeah! What, he sound like he with it. Yeah, like, oh, uh, you feel me? Like, you know, yeah. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Okay. Detectives identify the anonymous caller and track him That's down. like, you know. So you out here threatening it. When McCarty is arrested and charged with making death threats against a judge whom he mistakenly believes took his children away in a child custody case. Now a year later, in front of a different judge, his trial begins. All right, raise your right hand, let's swear in. I'm not under oath. That's a bad affair. I didn't appreciate that. This is being done unconstitutionally. These all took my kids unrightfully. You want to allow my witnesses here? He is not under oath, nigga. That means he can say what the fuck you please. We haven't started the trial. It doesn't matter. You still deny it? You want to take my kids from me and act like that? You ain't that bitch. You ain't the bitch that took my kids. You want to be in the room or not? Do you want to suck my Oh. I prefer not to, sir. Well, you got a mouth for it. Gotta get some water. Damn. And they, ooh, and they gotta give him some, 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 some water. I got a lot more custom doing. I need some drug weapon. Do you want to be here when the jury's here? What the? What do you think? I don't know. I need you to answer. McCarty's eventually found guilty. He returns the following month for sentencing. You're before the court, Mr. McCarty, to uh, show cause why I should not hold you in contempt for behavior that you demonstrated during the jury trial. You threatened the uh, unborn child of the prosecutor. Um, what a or bunch of lies, you stupid piece. Then also, you threatened my life. And the uh, you, you back room. 
McCarty's removed again. This time he's placed in a back room with a one-way mirror. Count one, I'm gonna adjudicate him guilty. Sentence him to 15 years in Florida State Prison. As to count two, I'm gonna adjudicate him guilty. Sentence him to five years to run consecutive to count one. McCarty's currently serving his sentence in a Florida State Prison. Next up is Michael Ray, who's facing four charges including criminal trespassing and second degree second degree assault making terrorist threats failure to wear safe the assault a bond or a bail hearing is usually a quick proceeding if the defendant is cooperative the prosecutor suggests a bail amount for ray based on the crime and the defendant's history now the county's requesting twenty five thousand dollars full cash behind all charges oh. Hell, nigga. I'm checking my bank account, nigga. Hell, no. Nah. Twenty-five thousand dollars in the court fee. What was you doing? You think that's yeah. funny? I think it's hilarious. We weren't done. Ray might feel twenty-five thousand. Uh, hey. $1,000 is too high, but sarcasm won't get him a reduction, and the judge lets him know. It. All right, so bond is $50,000, no bail credit, I danger to community, thinks these are funny charges. I was lucky I didn't hold him in contempt. Ray just had his bond double. Again, did not need to go there, bro. Again, like, nigga, y'all be messing with y'all cell, bro. Like, I don't need to go there. But as he re-enters the hallway, he has something else to say. Uh, I'll get bring him in. I'm putting oh, hold him in contempt. Adding charges. Okay. Ray's language isn't the only thing to upset the judge. Did not have According to, to court there, officials, man. the defendant also gave her the middle finger. 30 days to serve on contempt for flipping me off twice. Judge calls him back. But it looks like he's gone. If we bring him back in, he's just gonna get another 30 days for being something else. Sure enough, Ray comes back for more. Oh, here he oh, comes. Sir, so I'm holding you in contempt for what you did. What's your holding you again? And so. You shot a All right, you, you can take him back. 100 days to serve. 100 days to serve. Okay. 100? You didn't have to do that. Not yet. Please. Because of two EPOs and two That's right, the judge just gave him a hundred days in jail. He's done. Ray could just walk away without making matters even worse, but he goes a different route. I think we need to Yeah. Can we bring him back? He's I gotta be charged. Yes. What started out as four serious charges has grown into a grand total of ten on the span of approximately three minutes. We're in the Frank Murphy Hall of Jail. They even making it worse for themselves, bro, if you really think about it. But, I gotta get back with part two, bro. Yeah, I'm not showing y'all the whole thing. If y'all wanna see the whole thing, go over there on EA and watch it. If y'all wanna see a part two, come back here, probably today or tomorrow, and watch another reaction video, you feel me? Remember, if I see reactions, that's reactions. Stop playing with me. Like the video and subscribe, bro.